Hello world, Shelly here, and today I'm going to take you through my eye look that I'm going to make using the Winky Lux Latte Kitten Palette. This palette came in my Ipsy box this month for January, so I will show you some of my Ipsy goodies as well. I love a palette like this because, especially for travel, you've got just enough shades you can do an everyday kind of look you can do a bolder kind of a look and you've got a mix of warm and cool i typically wear cool tones but you know when you're traveling you may have different outfits and things that you may need a variety of looks i don't like to travel heavy with my makeup because my makeup even when I'm traveling light with my makeup is like 18 pounds of makeup. So I like to consolidate wherever I can. And eyeshadow is one of them. So I'm excited to try this palette. I've used some Winky Lux things in the past and liked them. So I think this is going to be a good one. They say it is coffee scented. Let's find out. Thank goodness it's not very strong because I do not like the scent of coffee. I'll tell you a terrifying story. Well, it's not terrifying. It's terrifying in my mind in a minute, but... Let's talk through a couple of my other goodies in the Ipsy box here, just so you get a feel for Ipsy. If you've never done Ipsy before, it's one of those monthly subscriptions. They have a glam bag, and then they have the glam bag plus. I was super excited when I opened my box of Ipsy bags because purple is one of my favorite colors. This is the glam bag plus design for the month. I always save these. I, I hoard them and I use them for everything. Here's the exciting one, the glam bag. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's fuzzy purple. <laughs> Come on now, that's awesome. Just just give this give me this minute, okay? Give me a minute. I'm just having an enjoying happy thing going on over here. All right. Some things I'm very excited about. Myriad hydration. This is their ultimate moisture hydration mini and Murad's one of my favorite skincare brands. I've had several products of theirs that have rotated into my like everyday used them up level of skincare. And you know, I try so much stuff that I don't use up things very often. So they are one of my use up brands, good stuff. So I'm very excited to try that. I'm also very excited to try from Dew of the Gods, new brand to me that I discovered through Ipsy. This is the Feels Mini Squalane and Oat Milk facial scrub. Now, you know I am straight up obsessed with squalane as a skincare ingredient. It is so good for us. I should have opened this first. I actually wasn't planning to open it, but now I want to pull it out of the package and show you because I want to look at it because I want to see it myself. Ooh, we got a nice little tube going on here. I wonder if it's going to have one of those pulley things. Of course it has a pulley thing. Of course I'm just going off script. Well, as if I have a script. I don't have a script. I sometimes have a little general idea in my brain of what I want to do, but let's just feel, oh yeah. So this is one of those scrubby scrubbies. And I don't know, if you've been around here for a minute, you probably know that about every eight weeks or so, I peel like a snake. Like I shed my freaking skin. And so as much as I would like to rely on chemical exfoliants, all the time, like your AHAs and your BHAs and your PHAs. I need physical exfoliation as well because I get super, super, super flaky. So I need them. And this was tiny, tiny, tiny. It felt wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I'm very excited about that one. Here's one that I can't be excited for myself because it's not gonna be suitable for me, but I want you guys to check out the brand if you haven't heard of them. Uh, Earth Harbor, this is the Oasis Deep Pore Gel Cleanser. Now, the reason I am excited about this, I'm reading the side of the box here. It is plant-based, sustainable, vegan, fair source, carbon neutral, plastic negative, small batch made, no gluten added, allergy tested, and women owned. Come on now. That's all the things, right? So, yeah, there's a lot of description about uh, excess oil and things like that. I do not have oily skin. I don't even have combo skin. Ziva's knocking stuff off the table. Uh, so I don't want to dry my skin out. Not saying that I know that this would, but products that are made for excess oil are usually not made for me. So I'm going to pass on this one, but I thought it was 
worth calling out this brand. Has anyone tried this brand? Like, they're intriguing to me, and I'm going to look into them and see if there's anything more that I might want to try of theirs. Other things in this Ipsy, we've got the Wing Me Little Liquid Liner. We've got a Ather Beauty, a lip and cheek stain. We've got, oh, I'm going to try, I'm going to wear this today. This is from Tarte. It is a lip balm. I'm going to wear that. We've already gotten this one before and I liked it. The Gold Faden MD Bright Eyes Serum. So that was in the glam bag. I just get a random selection. Thank you, Ipsy. This is not sponsored, but they do send me a selection of things from the glam bags in PR every month. So thank you, Ipsy. I appreciate it. I'm also looking forward to trying the Hey Honey Sweet Treat Wild Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. I love skincare masks. All right, let's do some things to these eyes. Should I zoom you guys in? Let me zoom you guys in. All right, let's take a look at this palette because let me brighten this up a minute because zooming in made us a little bit dark. All right, can you see? Can you see? We all good? We all good? All right. I'll probably hold it up this way. So here's what we're working with. I'm thinking I'm going to stay with the cool tones. We're probably going to go transition shade with this guy. I think I'm going to stick with like this purple and the center shade. And I'm going to stick, I think I'm going to stick with this middle, this middle row for the most part. That's going to be a transition. And then maybe a little bit of deepening the crease with that outer corner shade. All right, let's dig in, let's dig in. I buried my brushes with a box, so now I can't reach anything. All right, so I am going to start out with that shade Brulee in the top corner. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss number three brush. I have already primed my lids with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. That is my holy grail ride or die. I will never even bother to try to find another eye primer because <laughs> it works so flawlessly good for me that there is no reason for me to ever even look for something else. I think the only thing that would make me look for something else, because actually I've tried several drugstore brand attempted dupes that do not perform the same or look the same or have the same results. Uh, I would love a cruelty-free alternative, which really I would love if MAC would just go cruelty-free, which, you know, for brands, especially brands that sell in mainland China, if that's the thing that's making them not cruelty-free, like really just China needs to get with the times. And, you know, some of our big companies... I think, was it L'Oreal or Revlon? One of them. Revlon's having some financial problems. But one of them has been working for years quite intensely with the Chinese government to try to update their their cruelty-free approach. Ziva, you got to get down. Oh, my goodness gracious, you guys. Ziva was standing here right off camera trying to get in my business. So I applaud that. But basically, for brands like that, selling in mainland China is why they're not cruelty-free, because China has laws, at least at the time of making this video, that products can be, after they're on the shelf, they can be tested for, tested on animals. And, uh, you know, that's no, no bueno, not cool. I think I'm going to go in with this nutmeg shade, this, this guy right here. And this is my Sigma E25 brush. And I think I'm going to take that into the crease. Because that, that first brulee shade was a little warmer toned than I was anticipating. So I'm hoping to cool it down a little bit. Because this, this shade has, it's like a taupey gray. And I'm hoping it's cool toned enough to just ground that warmth of the brulee. Now you can use warm and cool tones together. It's not that you can't. In fact, 
I like to use primarily, so I, I prefer cool tones. So I'll do like a look that's primarily cool toned that has just a smidge of warmth in it, like what we're doing right now, or vice versa, a look that's primarily warm toned with just a smidge of cool in it. So it's not that you can't mix warm and cool tones, but generally speaking, you can't really go to town full on like a half and half ratio. It just usually won't look uh, cohesive, like it, it, it'll look out of place. That said, there are exceptions to every rule and honestly, you should do whatever makes you feel good. If you like a half and half warm and cool, you wear that half and half warm and cool because why not? It's makeup, it washes off, you know. Hat tip, Bailey Sarian. It's just makeup, you guys. It washes off. And you know what? Honestly, if someone thinks your eyeshadow looks weird, who cares? Like, there's just, we just need to not worry so much about what other people think, especially about things that really don't impact anything. Like, what I wear on my eyelids doesn't impact anyone's life but mine. <laughs> so if I like it, we're good. All right, now I've got, this is my favorite flat shader brush. This is the Smith 253. What am I gonna do now? I think I'm gonna go outer corner. We're gonna start with that purple. This is called, I'm so close to needing Sherlock, I can barely read this, Hibiscus. I'm kind of guessing on some of these because <laughs> I can't read them my, with my contacts in. Purples are notoriously hard to formulate as eyeshadow, so uh, we'll see how this performs. The downside, when they're not performing well, they will either look very sheer and be hard to get good pigmentation out of them, or they will look muddy. This one, you know, it's not as purple on the lid as it is in the pan, which I think is just another one of those testaments to the difficulty of formulating purples. So this is a shimmer shade, but it's coming across as more of a satin. It's not, it doesn't have a ton of luminance to it. It's still pretty. And I still like it for the purpose that I'm using it, which is my outer corner. My outer third. This would make a nice smoky eye. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but nothing major. This shade would actually make, if you want to do like a whole smoky eye, but you don't want to go with that true black, this I think would be a really nice color for a full smoky eye. I'm going to go into the Honey Lavender. So that is the shade in the center here. And I'm gonna take that across the rest of my lid. I like it because it's a, it's not quite a highlight shade. I guess it could be depending on your skin tone. If you're a little bit of a medium to darker skin tone, you may be able to pull this one off as a highlight. Now, two of the shades in here, the, the two lightest shades on the packaging are described as being also highlight. So if you like to coordinate your facial highlight with your eye highlight, which that's a strategy that can help you get a more cohesive look throughout the entire makeup look. That is to, you know, for example, take the bronzer that you're using and use it in the crease of your eyeshadow or take the lighter shade of your eyeshadow and use it as a highlight. So you get some cohesion from one area of the face to the other. It's a little trick you can do. I feel like we lost some of that outer corner purple. I'm gonna go in a little more of that and see if we can just bring that back. That shade's a little bit disappointing to me. It just doesn't have the impact that, the impact or the purple pigmentation. I feel like they're probably suffering from the typical troubles of working with purple eyeshadow because it's not super purpley. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I got a lot of oh, a lot of fallout on that on that pass. Oh, Nelly, let's get the fallout brush. Where did my fallout brush go? 
Oh, please. Oh, eh, it's brushing away fairly easily. Uh, leaving a little shadow. A little bit of shadow. Oh, go away. Fallout, please. I usually only get fallout on this eye. It's. It must be the way I apply it. It must just be... All right, I'm gonna take the lightest shade down here. So this is, these are the two that were indicated on the packaging as potential highlight. I'm gonna take that middle one and use it as highlights for the, whoa, yeah, that's some highlight. Inner corner highlight for my eyes. I already put highlighter on my face. So I will not be duplicating it down there. And that's, that, that packs a punch. That, that, ooh, woo. That's a nice one. I like that one. Yeah, you could use that on your inner third as well. I'm tempted to go back and do that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stick with what I was doing. All right, I'm gonna go back into that brulee shade. And this is my Wayne Goss number five. Number five, am I right? Number five is alive. And I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit on my lower lash line, just a smidgen. Just to, I don't know, put something down there, you know. Sometimes I like a clean lower lash line, and sometimes I just like there to be something down there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do, I'm gonna go tight line, do my mascara, I will come back and give you the final look. And here is the finished look with the Winky Lux what is it? Something about a kitten latte, kitten palette. Dun, dun, dun. I like it. It's nice. It's neutral. It's got just enough oomph to it because, you know, I like to have a little oomph to my makeup. Love it, love it, love it. It's good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you, thank you, Ipsy. I'm wearing that Tarte H2O Balm. This is in the shade Villa. And what a gorgeous, perfect nude balm but it's got enough pigment to have a little bit of impact to your look bravo it's got a little minty essence to it happening something sorta i haven't worn a nude lip like a nude nude lip in quite a minute and i'm digging the whole thing like i'm very pleased very pleased so there you have it that's my january ipsy that's the kitten look on my eyes Thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.